back? Okay. Hey, Zuri. Wow, that, I have never, I've never ever had OBS actually crash on me. That is really strange. Like, I haven't changed anything in it. I didn't do anything weird. That is really odd. I have never before had it crash on me. Wow, I'm sorry about that, guys. Uh, so, we were about to uh, investigate the prod. It looks like circuits are low here, potentially, um, for blue science is what looks like it. Red circuits are uh, a little bit low as always, but I don't think that's actually the bottleneck. Uh, so circuits, like this, this needs to be red belt, I think. Probably, or I mean, really, we're gonna have, we should have two belts. I'm not really sure. Oh, okay, so we're sending the other belt to red circuits. Okay, but this could be a red belt because we need to upgrade that anyway. Has anyone counted how many times I died to trains? No, but I counted how many times you nuked us. Like, that was really... <laughs> that was a bit absurd, dude. Like, before you use something... <laughs> for the love of God, please figure out what it does. <laughs> I mean, it was funny, but like, after the third time of killing our own people... <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, uh, let's do that. Do that. Here. Just be proud of me, guys. I'm using the upgrade planner. My inventory is going to fill up with yellow belt here, though. This is like. Damn. This is one wacko path, let me tell ya. Running through the forest. Who hosts me? Rain! Thank you for the host, man. Welcome. Hey, Sergeant Mustache, how are you doing? Practice design. Hey, welcome everybody. Rainstream, thank you so much for the host, man. How did your uh, speedrun go? I managed to catch little bits of it. Jimmy John, welcome. How's it going, guys? Alright, so, I mean, we could upgrade these to level 3s. Uh, we we have fixed the iron and copper bottlenecks here So we could either expand it out or upgrade it to threes. I think upgrading it to level threes is going to be the simpler solution right now Which Of course I have none of 25 that's uh, not enough Gotta auto trash those belts and do it from map view while sitting next to belt machines uh, They are odd. Well, I had them auto trashed. I'm not sure why I had turned that off. I did have them auto trash. Did you catch the good little bits or the bad bits? Partly good, a lot of bad. <laughs> I think, unfortunately, I caught the bad bits. Uh, the f couple times I looked in, I think you were uh, several minutes behind your split. But, I mean, it looked like you were still going to come fairly close to uh, your normal time. Exterminator, can I explain what happened with the nuking during that stream? Uh, yeah, you didn't know how they worked. And you and you were lagging, so you just I'll kept shooting back. them over and over again, and then just killed everybody. Hey, G-Man, thanks for the follow. How's it going? All right, let's uh, let's go get some more level three assemblers. I have auto trash this belt now. I actually did want to keep some of it though. And these, we don't really want. Well, we may want some of these. We want 50, so we can auto-trash the rest of those. Hey, Malfunction Mike, what's going on? Did we get our level 3 assemblers yet? Uh, we could up this to 50. Alright, let's uh, knock out another research. Get those lasers nice and strong here. All right, so circuits, I mean, to be fair, this is actually like three quarters of a red belt, even as is. Um, if we just upgrade, we probably don't even need to upgrade the whole thing right now. If I just like finish this part, 
it should catch up, because these were probably behind due to the assembly level difference. Uh, and then that one. It's one huge base. Oh, uh, this is nothing, man. You ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> uh, if you stick around, later on we'll be on my actual mega base. I think I'm a bit behind everything keeps saying thing that I see 20 seconds later. Uh, have you tried, like, closing your browser and, and refreshing? Uh, this is pretty good. I want to I wanna kind of gauge this and see what happens, because you have to give it a few minutes to, to like, see the changes you've made. So it, do, it won't do any good for us to upgrade these further if we're just running out of resources again. Oh, we did finish that research, though, so... Flamethrower damage. Breaking force. Yeah, this is kind of a small base for me. It's going slower than I would have liked. That was only partially cracked out of the first couple of shots. I got a feeling for the AOE of the nuke, so I zoomed out to max and started firing from the furthest away I could. Yeah, but you still killed people. Somehow. <laughs> I used artillery for the first time yesterday and did not know it drew aggro across the map. I was not prepared. <laughs> no, it's shit. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, I even forget about that half the time. It, uh, it can definitely catch you by surprise. Hey, Judgmental Joe, what's going on? How you doing? Alright. Uh, it, I mean, if anything, it looks copper is starting to dry up. Uh, however, this whole thing isn't actually red belted, so that's probably part of the problem. I really could just red belt the whole thing. Catch up on your stream, delay by push, pausing it, waiting a second, playing it again. Uh, Eggs from I'm a huge fan of your tutorials and series on YouTube. I am really getting into the Factorio Frontiers Death World series, and honestly, I found that the episodes can't come out fast enough for that series. Hey, Killa, well, <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. It's, uh, I have some bad news for you, though. It, uh, it is a mini-series. I think it only went for ten episodes, so there's only a couple more left. Uh, but I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. I wasn't sure if you would, because, like, 90% of it is combat. Uh, but it seems it seems like you guys are really enjoying it, which is fantastic. Um, but I can tell you the last two episodes are uh, very action-packed. So <laughs> you should hopefully enjoy those. Uh, they are probably the two best episodes in the series, I'd say. All right, so copper seems to be back up and running. Iron, this whole thing is red belted, so we should be good there. Uh, and then, I think this is pretty good. I mean, this is backed up. Oh, yeah. Which is pretty abnormal. Um, you forgot belt on the bottom side. Belt still yellow. Frontier is amazing. Your vid today brought back bad memories from me using artillery. Hey, Aluton, $25. Thank you so much for that donation. Wow. Thank you very much. That is very much appreciated. Thank you. Very generous. That much closer to our gear upgrade, which should hopefully fix the really loud keyboard and such and squeakiness. This keyboard is really squeaky for some reason. It's like I need to just like dump some WD-40 in it or something. Uh, yeah, our power is not not doing so good, man. I've been upgrading too much stuff. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of that's a lot of assembler power right there. Your tutorials, however, helped me a lot at figuring out how to set different aspects of my base up. I'm really glad to hear that. That's kind of my aim of the videos, you know, just to help people, you know, figure out how to, you know, general concepts and, and then how to expand upon that, which I'm I'm really glad that's helping you. Read that belt is still yellow. Went to check it and ignore typical exterminator. Well, I ignored it because my power's out, dude. My power's more important than a yellow than a yellow belt. <laughs> uh, Nightstorm, that that prime sub. Thank you so much for that. Here we go. Got you, little bugger. Thank you so much for that sub. How's it going? Love how that big Joey Wagon kill the game from. <laughs> uh, okay, so power. We need we need to expand power, dude. That is, uh, that is not good. That's not good at all. So, we need to go get some, uh, some stuff. Some nuclear stuff. Red circuit, or blue circuits are actually the bottleneck. 
I'll be back. Wow, blue circuits are really the bottleneck. Uh, Productivating the science actually would not be a bad idea at this point. Because you can see only like a third of these are running. Yeah, we should probably productivity science and turn this on. That might help too. Please, that wasn't on. Uh, Shni Shna Schnuck. I love that username. Thank you for the follow. Yeah, Zuri, I think Zuri won that. Uh, he got up to 35k jumps at one point. Uh, my jumps were nothing. Me and Mojo were like fine. Everyone else was like, oh god, we're, we're lagging out, guys. I'm like five minutes behind. And me and Mojo were just still planting down <laughs> targeting areas. Oh, Kickback Man. Yeah, you didn't have any either. So, uh, blue circuits. I'll be back. I mean, the build. I mean, are these already level threes? No, I don't think so. It's fully, I mean, we, why don't we just, of course, you know, because this is, of course, the smart thing to do since we have power problems, obviously. Banned from using it, so I zoomed back in and switched to a machine gun. Unfortunately, I have a habit of hitting tab before I chat. Switch me back to, <laughs> I don't know, man. You. <laughs> Another favorite series was the one you did with Catherine or Sky. Yeah, that one was really fun. I hope to do some more series with her in the future. Uh, I really enjoyed doing that playthrough with her. Uh, and we did discuss doing some stuff in the future, so hopefully that can work out. Actually, do I not have much iron? What happened with all the massive di disconnects? I wasn't affected at all. Um, people with lesser computer... Oh. I don't know what the deal is with those random disconnects. We'll just go ahead and blame our seating for that one. Alright, so yeah, I, th I know the thing needs concrete. I need to finish this first though, otherwise I will totally forget. And we're now out of green circuit, so you know, that's wonderful. I knew... <laughs> I knew that backup of green circuits would not stay that way for long. Uh, so let's go collect some concrete here. Solar panels? Solar pan- eh, I don't want to go solar right now. I want to stay off solar as long as possible. I had my fill of solar and sending supporters to space, man. Let me tell ya. I am done with solar. <laughs> Until the nuclear hurts our UPS too much. Why is Xterm still on his old gear? Don't let him hanging. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Uh, concrete. Holy hell. Where's my concrete, dude? Yeah, the green's just absolutely evaporated. Medjury might get 200k jumps with the modded artillery. <laughs> yeah, with the... Uh, uh, hey, Mojo. Uh, with the uh, atomic artillery and stuff. Zuri's computer might just catch on fire. Okay, so this need was I, I guess I was just like hand delivering bricks here, kind of dumb. Why would I be doing that? It's no robo network, but we'll get one set up. I have a port. We should actually be putting stone in the network. I just like solar farms. Each to their own, I guess. I mean, I just, after placing like half a million solar panels, I got kind of tired of uh, doing that. Yeah, imagine spamming napalm artillery too, all that fire. <laughs> uh, anyone got some sci fi series to suggest finished Expanse recently? Uh, have you watched Firefly? Or. Uh, well, that's the only series I can think of. No, there was another one. I'm trying to remember what it was. Uh, Terminator, the Sarah Connor Chronicles. Don't know if you're into Terminator stuff. That one's pretty good. You were in a phase of this base where you had delivered, hand-delivered lots of things even though you had a bot network. Oh, yeah, that phase. 
So farms only fun when you have a curse of blueprints for them. That is true. Heard Firefly was bad? I don't know who you heard that from, dude. Firefly is amazing. Whoever told you Firefly was bad is clearly broken in the head. I have never heard anybody say a bad thing about that series. Like, <laughs> Firefly is amazing. Yeah, the only bad thing about it is that it's too short. On my server currently, I'm trying to work as hard as I can to get batteries and accumulators made so that I can switch over to solar power for now and hopefully for the time being reduce the biter attacks. Yeah, that would definitely help. The no pollution from the solar is uh, definitely a nice benefit. That is for sure. Just pick all these up. The movie was even better. I'd actually disagree. I would say that Serenity was actually worse, but that's just my opinion. I mean, don't get me wrong. I still love the movie, but I kind of like the series better. The computer isn't that bad, actually, even for a laptop. It's the only problem is the RAM speed. Oh yeah, the RAM speed will definitely affect you there. I mean, but batteries aren't yet. Oh. Yeah, so you only have power, like, during the day. Hmm. I find it interesting that the devs made the most boring source of power the best source of power. Uh, so, going... 2 times x or 2 times n would be better here. Uh, well, it wouldn't be better than this, but eventually it will be. God damn it. Uh, use steam tanks as accumulators. Need to download more RAM where you can just download more UPS. Yeah, there you go. Bot should be nerfed. Get out of here, man. Don't even start with that. You're not allowed. To, <laughs> you're not allowed to speak such words in this community. <laughs> Bot should be nerfed. This guy... There isn't much a dev could do with something to make it less boring. No, but they could make it less good. Oh, they also think bot should be nerfed. Okay. <laughs> I apologize. I, I thought you said... I just said also think bot should be nerfed. I was like, hold on a second. My rapid, rampant and pitch black game nuclear is really interesting since I need the power for lasers long before I could afford Covrex. So I do Steam. Oh yeah, that's an interesting way to go. Final game balancing Kappa. Well, that's what I'm afraid of. Like I was saying to Scarhoof in that Friday Packs is like, I wonder if they're just gonna like be really s sneaky or scummy about it and just like sneak in some like massive bot nerf into the quote unquote game balancing section. <laughs> Uh, alright, so, I mean, I'm not really going with, like, a specific layout here, except that I should be. Uh, why don't we start the other direction? Why don't we do... Okay, so, crap. I have to, like, recalculate this every time now. Uh, okay, so this, so, this counts as two, this counts as three, this counts as three, so that's six, seven, eight reactors, and each one can support four, uh, of these, so four times eight is 32, and we have how many? 
14, 28, so another 4 then. But that doesn't make sense. It should be more than that. Because if we had 28, we added one more reactor, but it is gaining a bonus and gave this a bonus. I missed a calculation somewhere. Uh, yeah, my calculations were wrong, apparently. 3, 6, 8, 10, 40. Okay, 40. So we can do 12 more. Oh, jeez. Oh, hey, we have exactly enough. Look at that. What are you, what are you doing, man? This is not how you build this. God's sakes. There we go. I wanted to regulate the temp of the panel so then get hot. That'd be interesting. We're out of these things, though. Alright, uh, heat pipe. I wonder at what point this is going to stop working with me just like pulling off of random parts of the reactor. Alright, uh, we have some pipe. I think we will want another pump for this though. Potentially. Go actually run it this way. There we go. This guy should be up and running. Are you sure you don't need to double up those turbines? I already, I did. Yeah, we're way behind. Four reactors in a square, better neighbor bonus. I'll just do the next ones like that. No, I'm not adding more right now. Uh, but uh, what I'll do is I'll just start doing the next row when I get more. I'll pump for 20 turbines and 12 exchangers. Um. Right. Then we just place 12. So, one pump, right? I'm confused. What? Link to reef is a banable offense. <laughs> Alright, so that should give us a bit more power. Uh, so, we have a ton of these used thingies. We actually did get that tech, didn't we? We should be, we should do that. Uh, should I say, I should save that for an episode, maybe. Let's save that for an episode. Getting that recycling going. Are the devs going to make the ability to make water on the land? Um, I kind of doubt it. Honestly. Uh, okay, so... What's the uh, blue circuit situation look like? Pretty dim. Not great. Uh, Fred NL, thank you for the follow. Did I? How did I miss that? I guess I was really concentrating. Sorry about that. Uh, okay, so this guy, I mean, we upgraded this too. So we could just... I think we upgraded this. I guess we'll find out. Could use an upgrade planner, but I like the sound of this. <laughs> That's my excuse. Yeah, you could just build a moat. Like, that would just be really overpowered. Okay, so... Hmm. I know we're going to have some issues with resources here. Unless they let biters drown themselves and act as a land fill. That would be pretty funny, actually, if they did that. That'd be pretty great. 
and the buyers should be able to swim or fly. Yeah. Um, some of this is still yellow belt, apparently. There's really no reason to not make this whole thing red belt. Don't need to make these side things red belt. This is as long as the main uh, path here, and this is still... Aha! Now I forgot one. How about a water mining drill that just outputs water into a pipe? But you have a pump. Isn't that what a pump is? <laughs> You're just trolling? <laughs> I mean, we're making... 120 blue circuits a minute. Which... Really is pretty decent. Considering that it's a blue circuit. But you can't just pump on land. Well, yeah, but that's part of the challenge. If you could just pump from anywhere, then why would they even, like, put water? Want them to add biters walking on water and just not tell anyone, just imagine all the island bases getting destroyed. <laughs> that would be pretty funny, demon. Fracking. Tracking typically gets you more oil, doesn't it? Alright, so... Get the last one of these. Yeah, these blue circuits, man. You just need so many circuits for this. Like, we have a whole dedicated circuit build for it, but damn! This is why belts... This is why, why I haven't built a belt base. <laughs> Because it is a, uh, it is a chore to get more throughput, let me tell ya. And 101% evolution get flying mega behemoths. Oh god, no. Well, our resources seem to be keeping up for now. I mean, I don't think we can actually sustain this. Maybe. I don't know. It's not quite a full red belt. We're making a lot of circuits. Luckily, red circuits are uh, doing well. Red circuits, you know, we're doing 600 a minute. Uh, one thing we should... Uh, really, it'll slow it down, but... I think we should put productivity of some sort into these science uh, machines. Oh, yeah. At least the... Uh, yellow ones. Hey, T-Bone, thank you so much. $10 donation. You're upgrading for your excellent Factorio streams and vids. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Very nice of you. Definitely will go to good use. Uh, let's... That is really expensive, dude. Uh, I think we already got infinite, 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 infinite. Uh, we don't have any more to go, actually. This is a really expensive research for some damn logistics slots. Yikes. I think these should, uh, probably be redistributed a little bit. I guess putting them in the first ones would make the most sense, though. I mean, it, like I said, it will slow everything down, but the extra productivity will be good. Green circuit section, either by extending it for more input or belts, or just duplicating it. Uh, we can't really just duplicate it because this entire smelter setup is built for this. Like, if you just add another one, it's just gonna... You <laughs> it creates a huge list of additional things that has to be done. Uh, Xtreme, what kind of keyboard are you thinking of getting? Uh-oh, here we go again with the uh, 
keyboard discussion. All right, well, that should get some chat movement. Uh, I'm thinking I am I have my eyes on... Originally, I wanted a Razer uh, Chroma, so I could use the Chroma for Vectorio, but when thinking about it, it's not that important. Uh, so I'm debating between uh, two different types of Corsair keyboards or the uh, Logitech uh, G810 keyboard, I think. Uh, I did order the little contraption Can mentioned to me last ep or last stream about I'll testing out back. the different switches. Uh, so I'm gonna test. I'm gonna use that before I order one to figure out what I like. Uh, but that won't be here till Monday. Uh, the office. Thank you for the follow. Welcome. I have the course here, Strafe, love it. Is that one I was looking at? I, uh... The only... I actually wasn't looking at the Strafe. I was looking at the Corsair K70 Rapid Fire or the Corsair Gaming K95 were the two Corsairs I was looking at. G7 10 plus awesome keyboard. Keyboard not a USB. <laughs> Why would I want one of those old school keyboards? I'm mostly referring to specs. Uh, well, I don't really know anything about keyboard specs. So I can't answer you. Unless it's the pro model. Uh, could you elaborate as to why? I have the G710. Well, that's an older model than the G810, right? Hmm. I'm not really a fan of how that looks, to be honest with you. Not really at all. And below me, if they party all night, I'm gonna have some words. Just go stick one of those uh, letters on their door. Exchange some words with them. Oh, so this, why is this not going into a box? Would be my initial question. Uh, we need to redo this. Luckily, these stack in thousands, so this should hold quite a lot. Oh, uh, jeez. Wait, hold on. Okay, uh... This... This is the only thing on the belt, though, right? So it shouldn't matter what side it's on? No. Alright. Okay, it has had a lot of issues with the backlights. Okay, uh... I already hate it because of mechanical keys. Quite like the mechanical switches and was fairly cheap. You should look for one with in key rollover so you don't have any key presses eaten by the keyboard. I don't even know what that means, commotion socks. <laughs> like <laughs> it's like I know my computers fairly decently. Up until now I haven't really paid much attention to keyboard stuff, so it's like Trying to talk to Will about processors or something just goes over my head. I don't even know what you're talking about. The circuit upgrade didn't seem to help at all. Oh, we still have resources, which means we can still upgrade more. Pressing more than two keys at the same time, some keyboards just don't add more. What? Key rollover means you can press down as many keys as you want without the PC beeping. Oh. 
I would imagine pretty much most keyboards I'll would have back. that. Too fast, I would catch it. <laughs> I'm trying to think like when I would even need that feature. Like I can't think of anything I ever do where I'm pressing more than like three keys at the same time, or even two for that matter. Uh, Sven Svendezi, thank you for the follow. How's it going? All right, so if anything, it looks like copper is going to be a bit of a bottleneck here. These are actually uh, kind of backed up, which did I miscalculate this? Because this is a full thing. This should be the right number, right? This is actually somewhat of a mystery to me. This is a full belt, and this should be... Six, I'll eight, be back. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. 24 is the right number, right? For yellow belt and stone furnaces. Why are these not able to export? I mean, like, it's a full belt, but shouldn't 24 make a full belt? Not 22 and a half? Uh, exterminator, hold down both shift keys with your pinky, then type the following into chat for us. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Are you kidding me? Why would I ever need to do that, though? Uh, Bodum, thank you for the follow. Alright, uh, that's infinite. We're getting there. We're really close. It says 47. Right, which is 23 and a half. Ha okay, yeah, I guess so. Well, whatever. We'll probably want to upgrade this anyway, so... I'm not gonna upgrade the whole thing, but this should get it moving. I don't know, maybe we will need to upgrade the whole thing. When you're Logitech G11. But don't you only need to press one shift for that? A yellow belt in here. Well, if after this we do, which I guess doesn't really matter, but or or just caps lock. Yeah, that too. <laughs> or just caps lock. That's usually what I would do. Okay, sweet. Um, that's infinite. We're really really close. You hold down both shifts to test the inky rollover. It is a test for it. Okay, the quick brown fox, fuck, it's so hard to type like this, dude. Why would I, why would you do this? Interesting, it won't let me hit backspace when I have both. It hasn't beeped at me, but that's actually interesting. It won't let me hit backspace while I have two shift keys down. Uh, okay, so this thing. I guess I could just make this red belt right now. I don't think I have enough to go all the way. I'll be back. Uh, okay, so... I'll be back. Alright guys, enough testing. <laughs> we don't need to spam chat with caps. Uh, thank you for those two follows though. Uh, Skiz and, or Skyz and 
Sephiroth Venland, thank you for the follows. How's it going? Current keyboard doesn't have in key rollover unless you can press any number of keys when pressing any number of other keys. Interesting. Food time, bear it back or see you soon. If you're off, thanks for email. Keep the good work. Thanks, Jumbo. Have a good uh, meal. Now I'm hungry. <laughs> Hope you enjoy yours. Uh, okay, so that should be uh, should be pretty good. Uh, we could just finish upgrading this, I guess. These are some full red belts, man. Oh wait, did I upgrade the wrong freaking thing? Did I actually just upgrade the wrong thing? I shouldn't have. No, okay. I was like up there, so I'm like, did I upgrade that one? Um, but actually though, this is lagging, so... Uh, not that one. It is short on copper, so why don't we just do this? Talking about patron mail, really nice. Well, thank you. I, I really do appreciate everyone who supports me on Patreon. I do my best to give you guys some new interesting stuff and keep you updated. James seems slow. Don't you know you need rocket fuel? I don't think I need them any faster. I would prefer to be alive. Thank you. Uh, so that's, I mean, we should just, I guess, just finish this. So I think the conclusion here is we need this many level three assemblers to get, a, this should be a full red belt if we have enough resources. And it's still only making it like halfway. <laughs> oh, geez. How many days and work you have to wait? I need to get extreme Grubhub. I do have Grubhub. I could, I've been considering getting the thing. I think Avac has it. Uh, it's a... Thing, like a ability where you it ties in and you can have people order food to be delivered to you like it's like a thing you would put below your stream and people like can order food to be delivered to you I see that going horribly bad though and a lot of wasted food which I don't really like because <laughs> like you guys would probably just order crap just to mess with me and I wouldn't actually eat it and then it would just be like wasted food that could have gone to someone who actually would have eaten it. Um, okay, so also for the other questions, um, I only have three more days left for work, which is super exciting. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday are my last days of work. And he would be in heaven. Ah, I, I don't know. You pick what people can order for you? Oh, you do? Okay, maybe I should check that out then. Well, yeah, that too. It's <laughs> It would be better to have people spend their money to support me for better gear or to go full-time than to be ordering food that I probably don't need. The spare food to the homeless, good karma. Or just not do it. It would probably be a good option. Alright, what's our blue circuits at now? 150-ish. Uh, we are very close, guys. Very, very close. Like, I would rather have, it's called Treat Stream. Alright. Interesting. I'll, I'll look into it, but if, if some, so if say over the course of a month, um, if if people were gonna spend say fifty or a hundred dollars on treat stream to send me food, I would rather them just donate fifty or a hundred dollars or whatever it is directly to me, and then I can actually use it for potentially more useful things like food, but actually more. Uh, cost-effective food or, you know, the power bill or the internet bill or whatever, 
instead of <laughs> instead of that money just going to people ordering food just to order food for me. If that makes sense. Um, a thousand for this. This is like really expensive. They've made military research really expensive. Alright. Uh, yellow packs look like they may be the bottleneck. It's probably blue circuits. Um, actually, no. It's uh, just their speed because I prod moduled them. Although it looks like it could be speed modules. Which, surprise, surprise, is red circuits. I'll be back. Man, that is some of the, that is some of the weirdest uh, grammar I, I've ever seen, I gotta say. Igor, you, you, I always get a kick out of it when people manage to write, like, full words, but then skip out on writing other full words that would actually make it make more sense. Um... What are you going to do after you have last day at job? Um, this. Full time. Uh, okay, so... I mean, this whole thing's going, and they're all level 3s. They're prod modeled, but it's still more than a crafting speed of... Oh wait, no it's not. I mean, damn, dude. We're making 600 of these a minute, that's not fast enough? Jeez. Victoria 24-7 daily streams. Uh, no. <laughs> that is how you burn out on Factorio. Let me tell ya. Uh, no. I, I'm coming up with a schedule. Uh, I, I kind of have a, a pre preliminary schedule in mind I can lay out for you guys. I'm thinking... Uh, I'm thinking that... Uh, I'd like to get up to four streams a week. Which seems like a good number to me. I'd like to get up to four streams a week. Um, probably, uh, definitely two of them would be Factorio. Maybe three. Uh, but definitely two of them would be Factorio. Uh, so it wouldn't be any less Factorio. And maybe the third one would be. But I want at least one of the streams to be not Factorio. And I also want one of the streams, whether it's Factorio or not, to be uh, more community involved. Whether it's like community factorio events or working on a factory with subs and patrons or chat or if it's not factorio you know maybe like random game community stream where you know everyone who's on and has minecraft we all go in and play minecraft for that stream or you know we all uh you know play some rts game like warcraft or starcraft or you know we all go you know we play diablo or whatever um I'd like at least one stream to be more community oriented, uh, and then at least two Factorio streams, uh, and and one of them to not be Factorio, because that that is a good way to burn out on Factorio. Is by doing it all the time. Prod module blue circuits to make the greens reach the end. That is a good idea. Apparently, it takes 64 yellow assemblers to fill a yellow belt with red circuits. That is a lot. Seven days to die community server. That could be interesting. All those games you know that I have. Nice. Well, see, there you go. Community Overwatch. There you go, Joe. That was the other one I was thinking of. Uh, oh, Overwatch, you know. I love playing Overwatch. I don't. I haven't had time to play it in like six months, but I used to play a lot of it. Anyone who has Overwatch, down to play that. Um, Fortnite. I started playing that. The free, uh, free thing. Down to play that. Uh, you know, that just kind of is a community stuff. I'm totally open to that. Uh, so we may mix it up, right? We may do, like, every other week is Factorio community stuff, and then the, the, the week in between is community not Factorio stuff uh, type of thing. Um, prod modules. I have, I don't really have that many. In fact, I have, like, none. should probably go get some. I think all I have left is prod threes. Uh, I did Affliction. How's it going, by the way? 
Ready for Overwatch? Counting on Overwatch? Nice. I'm sorry, Hugo. I... <laughs> I am not able to decipher what you're saying. Um, something about... Factorio webcam? I, I'm sorry, I can't, I'm, I'm like, I'm dyslexic too, so between that and me being dyslexic, it's really difficult for me to, <laughs> it's difficult for me to read even, like, just normal writing. Uh, with TreeStream, you can pick Grubhub or other compatible places around, like Papa John's, have control to turn on and off also. Yeah, but like I said, I would rather, if they're going to spend the money for that, I would rather them just donate the money directly to me. And I could put it towards more useful things. Oh, we have well, we have level ones. It's not great. I'll be back. Have you heard if the devs are going to have a meetup outside of PAX? Uh, well, they said right in the Friday PAX promotion socks that uh. I don't know about all of them, but a couple of them were going to uh, California for a couple days after PAX. And then I think one of them, who was oh, it? Oh, yeah. One person was going to uh, New York. Was it Twinson? Uh, Fat Matt Rides, thank you for the follow. TD14, thanks for the follow. And wow, T-Bone, $65 dono. Thank you so much. Wow, that is so generous. You know what? Buy your gear, have fun with your new gear. Greetings from Hanover, Lower Saxony, Germany. That is really generous of you. Thank you so much. I deeply appreciate that. You are amazing. Just met the donation goal. Very nice of you, my friend. Thank you. That was like two plus hours of StarCraft for one semi-final match. Seriously, Afflixian? <laughs> StarCraft games are usually really short. Why not put prod level 3 models everywhere? You can change by the smelters uh, because I don't have enough to put every. I don't have near enough. You are worth it. Well, thank you. I just appreciate you being here. Thank you so much. Important information for the Chrome. Well, I'm not sure I'm going to go Razor, Afflixian, but... Uh, someone, so you are making four day Factorio, get some webcam, make one cooking day and two day everything else, cooking day, hunger, what, just do like a cooking stream? Let's turn into your health shield bar when you're taking damage. Interesting. Red for health, and flashes red when it's slow. That's pretty cool. That's not needed anymore. <laughs> it's still needed, Commotion Socks. Man, if you want to donate, I still deeply appreciate it. Like, I mean, I can still put it towards better gear, or I can put it towards something else that's going to help me. Like, anything that you donate is going to go towards my content. You know, I'm not going to go blow it on, like, something dumb <laughs> so it's it's definitely put to good use so even with level ones i mean this is still a 16 percent productivity which isn't great but it's better than not having it close enough uh Now up the goal and get even better gear. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I could up the goal. I think I have to, like, reset it, though. I don't think I can up the goal. Because it only lets me end it, I think. Uh, says, so you're making four days, Factor, get web, get some webcam, make one cooking day, and two days, everything else. Just figure the prime models would help more inside the machine than inside the chest. No, I mean, you're right. I should be putting them in the machine. Getting on stream is like you should be more supported. <laughs> well, thank you so much for the kind words and the dono. 
Cooking stream equals food content. Oh yeah, Lama Chomp does cooking streams. So, I'd consider doing cooking streams, except I think people are more excited about it than are, than is actually realistic because I am not a chef. Like, so Lethal Frag, I don't know if any of you guys watch Lethal Frag. He's been around for a long time. He did cooking with Frag, and he, like, actually worked at restaurants, right? He was a chef. I loved watching that. Um, but, like, me cooking, I'm not a chef, all right? I am... <laughs> I, I've, I've never gone to culinary school. I like food. I like cooking. I'm not great at it. I'm not bad by any means, but it's like, I think you guys are thinking it would be a lot more entertaining than it would be, which is kind of why I haven't done it yet, because it really wouldn't that be that interesting, All I don't right. think. It would be like... Ah, Jambo gifted a one-tier sub to T-Bone. Thank you. <laughs> Very well deserved, and thank you, Jambo. Well, what I have to wait about seven days to do because of the variable bills during that time, so if you can think of anything else during that time, that would be great. All right, Commotion Socks. Um, yeah, I can probably come up. I mean, there's there's some more gear stuff I wanted. I set this low because I wasn't sure if we were going to hit it. I mean, this would definitely still go towards some new gear. Commotion Socks. Probably a new mouse. My mouse is getting pretty worn out. I didn't put that on there because my keyboard is more important at this point, but yeah, I mean, I could definitely put it towards some new gear. Uh, okay, so that helped the circuits. The question is, how, how much did it... It slowed it down a fair bit. We're now making 120 instead of 150, but we are saving resources. So we could either A, expand this. Why don't we just expand it a little bit? Do you have any ideas for what we can do with the Zuby Xterm? Fandomot can do things like raffles and such, but we need some ideas. Yeah, definitely uh, what Can said, guys. If you have any ideas, I mean, I think Phantombot can kind of do some games. I know people really enjoy the games. Uh, like the betting games, or like Shred Guys, Bank Heist. I would hope Phantombot could do that. I, I just hadn't looked into setting it up yet. But yeah, we need something to do with them. Uh, the letter, thank you for the follow. How's it going? God dang it. Uh, okay, so now that we have that. Oh my gosh, I'm getting stuck on everything, man. And can save the plus on your gear for more tech to your computer. Yeah, there you go. Uh, my computer is actually about as upgraded as it can get right now. Um, but like I said, you know, I could do another monitor. I could use a third monitor. Uh, a mouse, like I said, my mouse is getting pretty worn out. Um, it would definitely be used. Uh, oh, great. <laughs> uh, it's so annoying when this happens. And people like Sonic Dean in the world would be better. <laughs> more RAM? I could get more RAM. My RAM is pretty good for Factorio. I mean, more of it, I guess, wouldn't hurt. I already have 16 gigs, but... Uh, let me... Oh, yeah, I was looking... They are a currency, a uh, Catman, that usually would be used for, like, games and stuff. Uh, goals, donation goal, sample goal, my goal, and yeah, it doesn't, I'm trying to, it doesn't look like I can actually increase it, which is a little bit silly. You would think it, you would be able to. Uh, well, what we can do is we can make a new one. Like,
Because I can set a starting amount, and we'll just set it at what it was before. Just for the new mouse. I could do that. Gigs only really helps if you need to have multiple gray RAMs running at the same time doing video editing and such, right? How much is the RAM? Well, the RAM's really expensive. If I wanted another 16 of what I have, I think it cost me... I think it was like 160 bucks for the 16 gigs of what I have. It's quite expensive. Like, I really don't need 32 gigs. <laughs> But do you like my nukes during the next stream? I mean, if I can take them off your hand, sure. So it looks like more prod modules in this would be good. This is completely stalled. Yellows. Not surprising. Um... The date field is... Month. Okay, OBS, now let's not crash. Oh, hey, it saved it. Wow, fancy. Thought I'd have to redo the whole thing. Hey, NG, what's up? You have 37 on you. Wow, that's really good. Don't, no, don't shoot me with them. <laughs> I have 17 gigs and I run 5D on my swap. Damn browser. Need nuke emote. Now that's a good idea, Catman. I've been wondering what to do for another emote. Hey, You'd need four for more RAM since you need match pairs and you can't use your old sticks. That's not the RAM I got though. Why can't I? I can't just get another pair of what I had. Can you can't just put two sixteen or four sticks of eight in there? Oh, hey, we did finish that. Was that the last one? Not quite. I think we should wait a second for this catch-up. Niggers, now I'm hungry, man. We do have that other emote slot. In fact, wow, we're only eight subs away from another emote slot. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out what to do for the latest one we unlocked. I have a couple ideas. Let's have a RAM. Well, the RAM can linked isn't what I have. I'm not actually sure if I can fit more RAM. I have four slots, but I think two of them are covered up by the heat sink. Uh, what motherboard? I don't remember. <laughs> uh, no, it's a... Uh, I think it's a... Uh, shit, what was it? Z1 Pro Z170 something? Ag is too large for a swap file. I have 16 gigs of RAM. I'm using 30 gigs in my swap file. Yikes. Um, okay, so... Wow, blues are actually backed up. Was it reds holding this up? And the six aren't matched. Pairs... Quads, especially if they aren't on the MOBO. You'll have issues. Hmm. I'm not sure if that applies to me or not. Oh, red circuits were the problem. Okay, well... We should probably switch these back over to prods at this point, maybe. Or instead of upgrading PC, you bought small server rig? Well, what would I use it for, though? Using a server wouldn't help my game performance. Uh, okay, so let's uh, let's go ahead and get that. And then these all need to change. Am 
Luckily, they're all the same ratios now, which is really nice. I remember they used to, not that long ago, they used to be different. And more space for upgrades in normal PC. Yeah, but, why, but then why wouldn't I? <laughs> I'm confused on the logic there, Catman. Like, if I were to build another server just to have more slots for upgrades and then spend more money to upgrade the server, why would I not just buy an entirely new PC? Like, for me. There you go. I knew it was a Z170 something. <laughs> You should get a Mac, I hear the great for gaming. I can like feel the sarcasm in your voice. It's great. <laughs> uh, okay, so... I think we almost need to speed beacon this, uh, this thing. I mean, we could expand it more? I mean, I guess... Why not? These, what were these? Level 2s? How many level twos we got in here? None? Oh, right, it's because this whole damn belt's full up full with these things, man. It's a lot of speed modules. Or maybe we should just beacon it, seeing as we have a buttload of speed modules. One day just a good enough gaming PC. Mac would be good for all the video editing. <laughs> yeah, Phoenix, there you go. Our server will allow you to use Xeron chips, so you might be able to have some more single-threaded performance. Again, same logic. Why would I not just... Like, Xeron chips aren't cheap, right? So why would I not just... Like, build a better personal PC? <laughs> I don't understand the logic. Um, okay, so... Beacon is... Yeah, let's beacon it. Alright, let's beacon stuff. This poor science, dude. It's a it's suffering pretty bad. It's these red circuits. Need so many red circuits, like geez. See it would be weaker, you can't fit as much RAM in it, for example. But why do I need more RAM? I think I think you're hung up on on something that is irrelevant for me. I can I could fit I can fit more RAM, dude. Like <laughs> I have four slots and my motherboard can handle up to 128 gigs, I think. So, I could fit at least like 64 gigs of RAM in my PC if someone has like $900 for me to spend on it. Like, I don't, I, I just, I don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> uh, okay, oh, right, we would need to underground this. I think that was part of my holdup here. Is that we would have to do some underground shenanigans to get this to work. Just do these first several here. Uh, McCune laminating a lot of red circuits. Oh, that was for that build, you idiot. Well, we can, we'll have to beacon that eventually, right? So, I guess that, you dumbass. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, this is what happens when I talk about non factorio stuff while trying to play at the same time. Uh-oh. I just give away all my red circuits? Yeah, would already be out of proportion. Like, I don't need more RAM. Maybe 32 gigs, but I've never hit a RAM bottleneck with anything I do. A 10k time per minute factory at 60 60 while simultaneously uploading multiple vids. First of all, uploading vids doesn't require RAM, really. Processing them does, but that's a processor. Uh, and Factorio wouldn't, a 10k science per minute factory wouldn't really use that, like, more RAM, it would just need faster RAM. Like, my 4k science per minute base, my sitting supported space base, doesn't use that much RAM. It uses like 4 gigs or something, if that. 
and that's just probably due to the map size. This power pole, these power poles are like keep being in the way, man. It doesn't mention a 64 kick. <laughs> If anything, get a stream PC that has a capture card connector or gaming PC to so your gaming rig isn't using any CPU usage on your main rig. Um, I don't even... Normally, I would agree, uh, Marconos, but I don't even use the CPU to encode. I per Because Factorio uses so much CPU power, um, I purposely use my GPU to encode for streams and videos, which I think works fine. So, now the problem is this is going to throw off these ratios quite a bit. A lot, probably, I would imagine. Let's see how badly this messes this up. Maybe for editing, but not for playing. Maybe a better CPU. Um, I pretty much have the best CPU I could get without upgrading my entire computer. I would need a new motherboard to get a better CPU. You can put your copper plate on the inside of the belt so you can beacon the entire thing. What, you mean mix? the plate and cable, I don't think that would work very good. It supports i7, I already have an i7. Exactly, I, you guys are like getting way off track. My PC doesn't need upgrading. <laughs> my gear and accessories need upgrading, not my PC. My PC is fine. Rip plastic, well plastic's almost full. And it's even a red belt, dude. Damn. I haven't, e I haven't even beaconed this yet. <laughs> Copper plate inside, cable outside. I don't understand. How would that change what's going on here? Oh, you mean this? I don't really need to beacon that. I mean, this is already hit by a beacon. I, I think I see what they mean, but I don't think it's necessary. Are you a mouse pad? <laughs> Uh, okay, well, let's see what happens. We have no plastic. I need to see what happened to plastic. Probably need a couple speed modules in here. And it looks like... Th well, the problem here is this is not quick enough. I don't even... Does this even need to be long-handed? I don't think so. Can this not just grab from here? Yes. by swapping the sides. Well, only on the wire assemblers, right? I don't see how you would get more on these by swapping the sides. Oh, well, yeah, because you could put one here, right? But... Exterminate, what upgrades are you looking to make? For what? My gear? Uh, it should be in the parentheses there. Uh, a keyboard, mouse, a mic, boom arm to get it away from my keyboard because it picks up a ton of keyboard noise. Uh, and uh, probably a new pop filter. Mine is like super, super cheap. And I'd, I'd really like a new desk, but that is, um, that that can be a little later down the road. That, <laughs> and that's the, that would be the most expensive out of any of the things, so. Um, they are on my uh, website, three letter, um, on the front. 
find him a desk. I've been looking for a desk. Ikea desk. I couldn't find one that I wanted. I looked briefly at Ikea, and they all seemed not what I wanted. I would, a wooden one would be cool, but none of, the problem is, um, the problem is that my chair, like, for a lot of desks, if the desk is higher than about 28 inches high, my chair doesn't go high enough to have the keyboard on the desk, so I need a slide-out tray, which I don't like using, because it makes things really cramped. And, like, all the desks I could find were, like, 30 or 32 inches high. So, it, it's really difficult. I mean, I could get a new chair, but I really, really like my chair. It's super comfy. Oh, so, are we, yeah, we're using the, holy hell, we're using this oil, like, 1,000 every five seconds. Can play getting over it. <laughs> Expect up a mic with our NLK pop filter worth 30 something on Amazon. Power supply for that mic was 20. Nice. Uh, what mic did you get? I think we may just. Oh, it's just nowhere near fast enough. We just need more oil. I mean, these could use speed modules, but. I mean, I do have some beacons left too, but I think we just need another oil field. Uh Oh, can's got you faster than I am. All right. Gosh, darn it. I did clear an oil field north of this, so we could just hook that up. Professional studio broadcast recording condenser microphone. Oh, nice. That seems pretty good. Just walk on the rails, you'll be fine. Yeah, don't worry about it. I mean, they should be speed modeled anyway. Oh man, was I, I was putting level threes in here, dude. Damn. Power supply is a 48 volt phantom power supply. Very nice. Um, right, we've cleared this oil. That's is that pipeable? Maybe. I kind of doubt it. No, no, it is. It's yeah, it, it's pipeable. But we need stuff. I'm not gonna make all these pipes by hand. Okay, what's up? I'm sad it's going well. My Saturday's going pretty good. How are you doing? Today, uh, you got an ergonomic chair. If not, you should seriously consider spending some money on one, even if they are expensive. That or a height variable desk to stand at from time to time. Otherwise, going full time content creating could give you some serious back problems. Oh, here we go with the standing desk thing again. <laughs> uh, an ergonomic chair. I don't even know. Uh, basic IKEA desk are adjustable, not the wooden ones I was looking at. Uh, would you mind linking to a said ergonomic chair so I know what you're talking about? Your PC specs are very similar to mine. I would only suggest with the amount of videos you make to get an external hard drive for more storage. Having any issues with the games you play? No, I do have an external drive. I need to list that. I have the one terabyte in my PC, which I record to, which so far has worked out fine. And then I also have a four terabyte external drive as well. Yeah, to upgrade my mic, it would be uh, quite expensive. Yeah, I would need something like that. Hey, Baseline. What are you doing? I am attempting to get some more oil. How I'll are you doing? Back. All the times I just want to sit. You save copies all your old videos for Tabarat is a whole lot for video. It's plenty for video. Um, I don't know what kind of videos you're recording. Mine are only like 10 gigs a piece, so.
not even. They're usually way less than that. They're usually like four or five gigs a piece. I do save copies of most of my videos. YouTube sent me here. Game is confusing at first, but your videos are quite are super helpful. I'm glad to hear that, Captain Smart. Super glad they're helpful, and thank you for the follow. Three letter E as well. Thank you for the follow. Um, glad you're doing well. Baseline. Oh, I was really far away, even though I was less than six inches from it. I don't see a reason to upgrade your mic unless you are having difficulties with your current one. Heard you well in your videos. Yeah, I do not need a mic upgrade currently. I do need a mic arm and mic pop filter, which is part of the donation goal. Marcus chair from Ikea. It's $200 and very comfortable. That's really expensive for a chair. The reason files and pop-up notifications aren't showing. Uh, they should be. Did you intentionally remove them when doing the new donation goal? No. But apparently they're gone. The fuck? Come on, Streamlabs. What are you doing, man? Did it break something? That's saying desks, I'd get electric one that adjusts between sitting and standing. You never sat in a steel case chair. Looked at their price, have you? No. I don't even know what that is. Uh, I don't understand. Like, what the fuck? Alert box. It, so the alerts aren't even showing up. I know the thing. I know the thing down in the uh, corner here isn't showing, but are the pop-ups not showing either? God damn it! I feel like OBS is just totally broken right now. I don't get it. What? What? What's the problem here? Oh my god! Save settings. Do I need to like recopy this in or something? Jeez. Okay, well that's fixed. Big furniture manufacturer, their high-end chairs are like 2K. Why you would ever spend $2,000 on a chair is beyond me. I'll be back. Oh, well there's a pop-up, it's showing up for me. It just showed up. Wow. I don't know what the deal is, man. Okay, well, <laughs> I can continue research now. I needed oil, that's what I needed. Um, pipes. Were we, like, making pipes anywhere? I don't think so. Just kind of dumb. I should be. Just grab, like, everything. This is, like, everything we need to make oil stuff. Underground pipes. I could have sworn I was making underground somewhere. Am I not? I should be. Um, alright. okay here. Which I'm currently using was just under 1k. Seriously? I don't get it, man. Yeah, like...
They're a good ergonomic chair starting around $100. See, I would pay $100, $150 for a chair. Don't knock it until you try it. A $5 milkshake seems pretty cheap. <laughs> It was a best of seven series that was over two hours long. Oh, not a single game. Okay. I was like, geez. Uh, so. I just don't get it, man. Like, I've sat in my chair before for at least five or six hours and not had any issues. It's not 10 hours, but even when I go full time, I wouldn't be sitting here for 10 hours straight. Like, is it just me or is Twitch chat just like super eccentric and somehow rich? <laughs> like you guys are all talking about this stuff and it's just like, I, I don't, like, why would I ever need that? I mean, maybe I'm just weird. Maybe I'm just like the really odd one out that just doesn't sit in my chair for 10 hours straight for it to be an issue. Like, I can't think of a time where I have ever been sitting in a chair for more than like six hours in a row. Probably not even that much. Oh, we were rolling in the dough. Well, pass it along, man. Spread the spread the wealth. How old are you now? Add some years to it, and you will understand. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess if you're older, but an old architect lamp and mount you mic on it. Why would I not just get a proper mic mount though? All the folks with experience. <laughs> Sometimes it's worth it to spend the money on something nice. You stream for a living, you'll be spending a lot of time sitting in the chair. Why not spend extra money to keep from having problems in the future? Um, because I want to not be broke now. <laughs> that's, that, that's the best answer I can give you. <laughs> Because if I spend a thousand dollars on a chair, that means that I am now not able to pay my rent. So I'm pretty sure I would prefer to pay my rent and not have a two thousand dollar chair. Just, I mean, maybe that's just me. How are you supposed to get this stuff out here, man? They do not make this easy. Always spend your money well. Anything that keeps you out the floor, tires, shoes, matches, always worth every penny. I mean, I don't think I'll ever agree with that until I can buy a $2,000 chair and try it out. Stables, $8 chair, don't need anything more uh, like an adjustable desk. On the 25th, I have money for the rest of the month. I have a family. Exactly. Keep it in mind for the future. Well, yeah. I mean, when I'm making bank full time, you know, when I'm getting those fifty thousand views, view viewers, you know, and the hundred dollar donations are just rolling in, then I'll uh, then I'll consider getting a couple thousand dollar chair. How's that sound, guys? <laughs> Uh, streams on Saturdays are usually about three and a half hours long. I wasn't saying go out and buy the nicest chair right now, just explain the logic of spending the money on something expensive. Three hundred, four hundred dollars is reasonable. Yeah, that sounds more reasonable to me. He's got high hopes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, they look... Oh, yeah. Let's just, like, make the worst pipe loop ever.
these have power. Um, research is done. So how do we want to pipe this? I guess just straight down. Doesn't have to be 2000 but you definitely notice the difference between $50 and $200 chair. Oh yeah, I bet. Like, and I'm not opposed to spending like $200 for a chair. Ten times that right now is a bit much, but... <laughs> Must be tired. That feels like it's been a while for me, too. Um, I mean, I don't know. I mean, we'll see, guys. I, I mean, I'm, I'm uh, working on something on the side that is uh, completely unrelated to uh, content creation that if with some luck, and if done well enough, has the potential to be uh, very, uh, very fruitful, very um, lucrative. So we'll see how that goes. It may do nothing, it may do a little, it may do really well. We'll see. Heck, I refuse to spend more than 20 on a chair. Pretty sure my chair was just free. I'm pretty sure it was like just one of those chairs that someone decided they didn't want but like it's in it's well i've used it for like five or six years so it's not in great shape but it's it's super comfy savings change and oh god i hate daylight savings yeah that already hit us in the u.s here um i mean that's filling pretty quick how are, we should radar this i think people are just saying don't get stuck in the poverty trap of buying cheap stuff that breaks. No. I mean, and I'm not stuck in that trap. I just... I think I just have different priorities, maybe, of what I spend money on. Like, I, I am... I, I would not consider myself, like, poverty-stricken by any means, or, like, having a poverty consciousness, but I think I just have different priorities of what I consider reasonable to spend money on. Turn it into a chair. Yeah, just carve a wooden chair. Day saving is so stupid, yeah. Um, research, that's... Uh, we only have, like, one non-infinite left. Let's knock that out. Uh, do we need a pump? All right. It's a little bit hard to tell. I mean, these pipes aren't full, so I kind of don't think so yet. Do you need radar? I'm not sure if we need a pump. Uh, thank you very much for that uh, three month resub, Sharky. How are you doing? I could speed module the pump jacks. They're all backed up now. I'll be back. I feel like I should probably put some more lasers down. And Speason, thanks for the follow. Oh yeah, just to prevent backflow. Well, the pumps should do that on their own. Or the pump jacks, I mean. So I to pick up buildings faster. Uh, I mean, a, fa a steel axe, if you don't have one of those, but besides that, Without a mod, I don't think so. Um, so is the tank full? Is that what's happening here? Interesting. Maybe we do need a pump. Because the tank's not filling up. What? Don't these hold 25k? Don't tanks hold 25k? Why was that not filling up? Where are the pumps, man? 24, nine, nine, nine. yeah, but usually they only says 24. Well, that's kind of dumb. It used to say 25, didn't it? 
I'm almost positive it used to say 25. Why? I can never find the pumps. Oh, we need an engine. Great. Literally unplayable. Yeah. It, like, am I insane in thinking this used to say 25k? I don't know, man. Maybe I'm just going crazy. This, uh, this train is going back and forth pretty quick. I'll be back. Pumps are next to the pipes. Oh, yeah. They kind of, like, blend in a little bit. The balls, thank you for the follow. Pressure difference and all. Hey! Jip, you too? Welcome, how's it going? It's almost an extreme splat. Right. You need a pump to make, say, 25k. Oh, well, I guess we should get a pump. Datwav, just subscribe with Twitch Prime. Thank you, Datwav. Two month resub. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. You're not crazy, the air was added when they switched from rounding to truncate for fluids or circuit network conditions. No air, not a bug, technically. Oh yeah, it's a feature, right? A very frustrating feature. I'll be back. Gipsu, thank you for the follow. Um, okay, so oil should be back up and running. Let's check the plastic. Oi. Plastic's backed up. Red circuits are going full blast. These things are going good. Oh man, we are in business now, guys. Would help if I set the inserters correctly on that, though. That would definitely be helpful. Alright, so... I mean, the reds are still kind of lacking here, but... You guys were supposed to point this out. Come on. Pay attention. What's uh, what's the deal here? Oh, yeah, they're... Right. Dang. Hmm. I couldn't still use more red circuits. It's only a feature if they don't fix it a bug when they will. I'm doing the dishes when you switch this up, I'm blameless. Yeah. Nice cover story. We're making like 680 of these a minute. That's pretty good. Uh, this seems like a good time to take a break. I, uh, I gotta go to the bathroom and I need a little bit of a snack. So... I'm going to take a quick break, guys. I'll be back, and at that point, we may switch to the sending support. It's the space base. We'll see what you guys want to do. Uh, so think about it, and I should be back soon, like five minutes. Uh, but I will be back shortly. How did you get that output belt mixed? Here. I'll be back. Stairmonger eat food. <laughs> Alright, thanks for the follow up, Corn. Uh, I'll be back shortly, guys.
Alrighty, we're back. Got my snack. Bathroom break. You guys are playing around with the games. Very nice. So we completed all non-infinite research. That is a pretty big thing. Because this is infinite. Hmm. Hmm. So this is interesting. You notice how some of these have the infinite symbol up top? Or actually the only two that do are these. And then the rest have them at the bottom. Is it because all these are military? Hmm, I wonder why they did that. I'm sure they're going to tell me it's not a bug. The only thing I can think of is that these two aren't military and the rest are. And that's the only difference. Into the infinite portion of the research? Ew. That's probably a good point, Marcus. I think that, I think you're right. That may be why. I don't know why, I still don't know why it would do that. Like. It's such a minor thing that I don't I don't see why they would even make the change, but that's probably what's happening. I think that's a sore sc subject. <laughs> yeah, potentially, Zuri. <laughs> Test it and find out, but I don't want any of these infinite researches. It's a huge waste of my packs. Now they're redoing going in 17, yeah. Um, okay, guys, so what what do you want to do? You want to stay on this base, or do you want to go to a real my real mega base and do a little bit of stuff there? I'm going to be on for about another hour. Uh, so we can stick around here, do a few more things, or we can go to the real mega base. Uh, I have not been on there in a while. Kind of nostalgic. Stay, mega, real mega base, real mega base. Let's start a new base. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm new based out for a while. Okay, there's a poll from Can. Also, uh, Marcus and Praetorian, thank you for the follows while I was gone. I mean, you should set up a poll. Can's way ahead of you, Zuri. Mega base, speed run to mega base. Uh, so just. Use vote. Tight, tighten the belt or vote. Send supporters to space. Or two. Or whatever. It looks like mostly twos. Almost entirely twos. Okay. So we'll close here. Black screen. Don't freak out, guys. Ah, shit. Give me a second. <laughs> I have to find the damn thing. Uh, I think it was this one? I have it in a different... Okay. Oh, my God. Black screen. Fire. All right. So for anyone who hasn't seen this, who is uh, the person who, it, when they came in here, said that this was a big base uh, on my tightening the belt. Are you still here? Because you might want to hold on to your chair for this one. <laughs> Are you still here? Uh, this is going to be a little bit nuts. So we have almost 10 times the play time on this. Uh, we were nearly at 50 hours on the tightening the belt. Uh, we have almost 450 on this map. And uh, this is a 4,000 science pack per minute, 4 rocket per minute base. Um, 
So let's load this up. It's been a while since we've been on here. I'm kind of, I'm kind of nostalgic. Oh come on, you can do it. 60. I know you can do it. You can't do 60. You used to be able to do 60. Mm, right on the edge, man. All right, so we've launched 4,000 normal rockets. 3,800 rockets with Twitch followers in them, nearly 16,000 rockets with YouTube subscribers in them, 81 patron capsules, and one patron plus capsule. Um, unfortunately, T-Bone, that is... Um, <laughs> leagues easier said than done. Uh, you can't really just add on to it. Unfortunately. It's too clean. It's too clean, dude. I love the cleanness of this base. I love it. Bask in its glory. Oh, hey, Sonic Demon. Thanks for that link in the supporter lounge. That'll be helpful. I'll read that after the stream. And Joe, 20 best gaming chair you guys just sent me a link to the same website for two different topics which is awesome i'll look at both of those after the stream second base next to this um you could copy paste this the problem is there's just too many trains uh it's flawed in in that regard um Four point five percent of the way to YouTube sub goal. Yeah, uh, we're focusing purely on the YouTube subs right now because I want to do the capsules last or, or the the patrons last. Oh uh, yeah, so this is why I don't want to do solar. <laughs> I had to place all this solar. Is it possible to make it smaller? Well, I mean you could. It would require tearing everything up. Which, whew, that is a headache I do not want to deal with. And yeah, this is a super duper train mega base. Conventional Ender King, how's it going? I see you have a, uh, I see you have Twitch Prime there. Wink, wink. Um, <laughs> yeah, this, uh, this thing is nuts. It's a total of... 682,000 solar panels. I'm uh, pretty solar paneled out right now. So, uh, we, pr we could reduce trains a little bit. Not enough to really make that big of a difference. Or change solar to nuclear. Uh, I actually uh, did the opposite, T-Bone. I was running nuclear, but I changed to solar because nuclear was eating too much UPS. Um, nuclear was eating like 10 UPS. Yes, uh, 40 gigawatts of Flixine just because of the accumulators. It, it does use about 23 gigawatts uh, when we're not charging the accumulators. Uh, well, yes, inserters, fuel, inserters and trains are the bottleneck now. Can't really reduce inserters much. Um, the trains, we can't really reduce much either just due to how these smelters are designed and you can't really redo these smelters. Like you would literally just have to tear them up and rebuild the whole thing. Um, but yes, fluids, fluid boxes and pipes is part of the problem. We have a lot of that. Well, we are just, you're just not doing good. It's the trains, man. The trains are taking a ton of UPS and game performance on this map. This is, There's like 500 trains on this map. Would you rather them add more heat functionality or simply the nuclear heat for UPS? 
I'm not sure what you mean, Ducky. Um, add more heat functionality or simply the nuclear heat? Uh, you mean for, like, other items to use heat? How's a 10-hour graph look? Um, I think pretty good, although we may have hit a bottleneck. It looks fantastic. 10 hours, boom, 4K, all the way. Fifty hours wasn't that far off. I don't even know where the packs are. Yeah, for fifty hours isn't even that far off. Fifty, uh, we just need to run a while longer at four k a minute uh, to hit that fifty hour four k a minute mark. Yeah, more heat use in game. It seems to be used too much UPS to be simulated so much. Oh well, yeah, I mean they need to fix that, but. It's a lot I'll of it's back. fluids too. Uh, that's Ben. Thank you for the follow. All right, so I wanted to prepare that the problem is I need to update the patron list on here before we can launch the patrons. It's uh, very outdated. The problem is I'm trying to figure out how to do it because it's an absolute nightmare uh, because uh, one I think we have to add them like in a specific order or place in the list in the mod with to not break the mod except that like some of them have been launched but then could, I don't know because there's like new patrons of all different levels now compared to what it was and it's, uh, some of the names are messed up, too, like, The Mutiny. Oh, no, no, that's a Twitch sub. That's actually a Twitch sub. The Dot afterwards is a Twitch sub, which goes in there, too, which I also need to get working. It, it's a pretty huge nightmare to update it. What version of Factorio is this running on? Um, I don't know. 16-something. It's on 16. It is SSTS now. Uh, the important thing is making sure we have enough power armors and stuff to make these capsules because, you know, these things require the Patron Plus uh, capsules. So we're going to require Fusion Reactor. I think I built up everything. For the, In fact, did I, like, transport them here yet? I mean, I don't actually remember. don't know if I'd gotten that far. I don't think so. Because we needed to bring the power armors, fusion reactors, exoskeletons. We need a lot of them. We honestly didn't expect you to get twit sub when the mod was designed. Yeah, that is a good point. Um, this is definitely not running 34. This is an older version. I'm not sure if I got around to including the mod or not. I don't think so, so this, I think, would be running before the barrel nerf. Uh, Hopewell kind of dropped off the face of the earth. Uh, I've been worried about him for a long time. He's been just completely Mia for, like, the last three or four months. Or four or five months, even. I must run to Micro Center to pick up my new headset. Hey, well, have fun, Lumberjack. Thanks for stopping by. So it's 4K signs per minute. Are there bigger bases built by anyone? Um, there are a couple bases that are bigger, um, that are actually legitimate. Some people have built bigger bases using like Bob's mods or like spawned in resources and stuff, which I think just don't count. I just don't count those as being legitimate. Uh, so we need to get to the Emmy, and we also need. I had a helicopter. I have a train at least. Oh god. This map is absolutely horrifying to try to drive a train in. <laughs> this is terrifying, man. I have. Ah, oh, crap. I, all I have is wood. Uh, 
Uh, this VOD is going on YouTube, yeah. 10k size per minute base. Was it actually a legit base, T-Bone? I find that very hard to believe. I think anything where they spawned in resources, used cheat mode, or used mods that affect production are just not legitimate at all. And I just missed my turn. God damn it. This Chrome tab crash. Uh oh, hey, Lizzie. Only better base I know of is Thunder Guns. Yep. Thunder Guns is the main uh, competitor to this, or that beats this base out, I think. He did some really, really neat stuff with his. Yeah, there you go, Zuri. <laughs> Give you 10 minutes, you'll make a 10k science per minute base with creative mode. Uh, yeah, Thunder Guns is the one with the inserted clocks. Oh, yeah, Phoenix is working on a 10k. I'll be interested to see, uh, sorry, Phoenix, I'm gonna have to disqualify yours if it's below 30 UPS. <laughs> Kappa. Jacob Bossman, welcome, how's it going? Alright, so I know we'd set up most of these parts. Look at this bot speed, man. I would love this in the belt base. Can we just transfer, especially the mining prod? We have level 572 mining prod. Can we just transfer that to the uh, belt base? That'd be great. Uh, I don't know why I capped this. I mean, I need a lot more than this, I think. Patron tokens. Great. We're out of patron tokens. Say hi to hear Extern pronounce my name. Oh, great. The shimmy? The skimmy? <laughs> hi. I want to use silicon lottery if necessary to keep 60 and or phase change cooling. Yeah, man. I want to see that liquid nitrogen cooling. Uh, that entirely depends on the PC, Catman. So what level of mining production do you even need to mine, or does ore just appear out of thin air? <laughs> yeah, those... No, these are... Well, these are... No, these are Patron Plus tokens, but we need the normal tokens, the, the just the Patron tokens, to get those, which is generated from the rocket. Nice try. Thumbs up. Thanks. I tried to put in effort. Oh, yeah, man, we got nuclear fuel here, too. Ooh, doggies. All right, so I'm trying to build a 1K size per minute in Pionodin. Isn't that... That's a mod, right? Isn't that the mod that KOS is doing? What the hell is the hotkey for this again? I keep changing it. Shift Q. Shift W, Shift E. Oh, Shift E. Sweet. This helicopter, man, I miss it. I gotta say, really miss it. Oh, jeez. Oh, that was just a reflex. <laughs> you can't be hit by a train in a helicopter, but damn, did that scare me. <laughs> oh, man. See, my reflexes are still on point. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty great. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, there you go, Sonic Demon. <laughs> Get like a helicopter mod, maybe. Alright. So we need to fly over and get and get tokens. Fortunately, they only stack in ones. I'll be back. I get a bit jealous when I see bases like this. I just have a giant brain part as soon as I get towards military and blue science. Well, if it makes you feel any better, yeah, I used to be the same way. Everyone starts somewhere, 
and you just gotta build up. Uh, I've been playing for like two years, two and a half years before I even attempted to build this, and let me tell you, it was not easy. <laughs> this looks great now, but I was ready to give up probably 20 times during this, and it took, well, it, it took about 200 hours just to build the base. Yeah, I don't know why we have this many signals. It's a lot. Why are we requesting to- I think because I was doing mass track. I do actually end up needing this much if I'm doing mass track placement. And now he's got a helicopter! Maybe you could find a coach or something. Yeah, there you go. Uh, I do offer uh, coaching sessions. SJ Gap. I'm about to lower the price on them too. I've tried to do 500 signs per Mac in creative mode, 12 link assemblers. Yeah, 8 8 is usually better, I think. If you get Xerm, he will give you an hour of his time to help you get a bigger base. <laughs> yeah, it probably took 100. It took a ton of hours just to design the builds for this. Oh my god, I missed the helicopter, dude. Oh man, I missed the helicopter. Oh wait, no, we didn't want those trashed here. Oh no. Can't do that here. Bad. Only f God damn it. Alright, well, we can fit this. Let's stick them in here instead. <laughs> I don't know how many... I don't think we need a ton of more Patron Plus, so this is probably enough. Because we only need the Patron Plus for the higher level Patrons, and there's not a ton of them. Um, the helicopter is the helicopter mod. It even has remote control now, too. It's pretty cool. Hey, we just hit 16,005. I don't think we have... Um, is it a helicopter? Can you filter those chests? I could. I usually don't need to. Because I just know not dump stuff there. Copper trains are looking a little bit short. Oh, yeah, it was a Nightbot command, I think. I'm, I'm pretty sure I migrated all those. Although, I did forget, I did skip over some to migrate, so that was probably one of them. Uh, Nightbot got taken over by PhantomBot. We need an upgrade. Oh. During the helicopter. <laughs> oh, jeez. Cab crash again, I know. Snack command. Alright, uh, so this thing should kick on at this point. Ate them all. <laughs> hey folks, time for little Joe to go to bed. Have a good night. Alright, see you later, Joe. Thanks for stopping by, man. Um, I'll check out your link after the stream. It definitely looks uh, helpful. Man, look at this thing go. Oh man. This is only six or seven beacons too. Alright, um Wow, these bots are like super fast. The mining outposts are really starting to dry up. Like <laughs> look at this, this is so pathetic. But these are all full, almost. Like this thing's full, man. We need, I want to, for anyone wondering, I need, uh, I want to show you the, uh, mining productivity here. This is why we can run this size of a base off of patches that are pretty much non-existent. Oh, hey, we could put some more miners on some stuff, too. 
It's so nice just having like infinite supplies and having like Mark II ports in my armor. I mean, we can do that on the new base. I just, I'm lazy. <laughs> I'm too lazy to be lazy. Get the rover speed to 19 before the end. Uh, yeah, I think so. I mean, we still have to launch over 5,000 more rockets just for the subs. And the Twitch followers is now almost exactly a thousand behind. So another thousand rockets for that. Alright guys, check out this, um... Check out this mining prod, if, if we can get in here. These are not speeded at all. Here's our mining productivity. In fact, the bar is like breaking almost. So, we have 1144%, which means that for every cycle the miner goes through, we get over 11 pieces of free ore. Uh, but yeah, so we need to, like, move some stuff here. This outpost maintenance is something I've been avoiding for an extremely long time. Because I just cut power to, like, everything. <laughs> oh dear. Um, these might actually be needed. Ew, that's why I didn't do that, because they would connect the network. Ha! Hmm. That is why I did not do that. I mean, at this point, I'm not sure it really matters. Alright, I think it matters. God damn it. So this one has 700, and this one has 48. Great. Well, I can't get these middle ones without connecting the damn networks. What a pain in the butt. Oh wait, maybe I can. Um, we need to take some of these out though, cause... So this is... Connecting the networks results in some very bad things. Oh, we didn't connect. Damn it. There's got to be a way to get this network coverage in there. I think if we tear up some of these, we can maybe sneak some ports in here. Maybe. Oh, uh, there's enough miners to support two stations. This one's already full, so it's done, and the train was just there. <laughs> Wow, we have some serious charging problems, though. So I I'll can't even... Ugh, what a pain in the ass. Okay, well, we can get rid of some of these on the end, because these are mined out. I'll be back. Like... These could move back to, like, here-ish. Uh, okay. Uh, hack guy, thank you for the follow. 
Monta, thank you for the follow, and Niade, thank you for the follow. Well, I think these are needed, though, Can to reach these. Pretty sure. Well, damn, how are we supposed to reach these? Can you explain how like one of your sign out posts work with bots? I have a belt base and can't figure out how to build. Uh, what do you mean? You mean just how the bots work? Well, the miners are mining into passive provider chests, right? And then we have requester chests here at the station requesting ore. And so then the bots come from these robo ports and take from the passive provider chests and bring them to the requester chests. This is really annoying. It's that top, but if we move these, then those aren't going to be hit by the network. This is so frustrating. Yep, there's just no... Uh... No getting around this. Oh wait, there is. Yes, we did it. I knew there was a way. All right, so all these should be hit now. By outpost. Yeah, it was converted later. We'll just uh, blame the uh, foreman for that. It wasn't me. I didn't realize we had this many charging problems here. Can add miners to this. Make it a bit easier to tear up these miners. And we're not tearing up the power poles. And we don't need all these power poles, but if we just tear them all up, then we're going to end up with, uh, well, no power. So I would need to move these stations in to actually make this correct. I don't feel like doing that. I'm just cleaning this up because OCD. In the bell system, you have a main bus. Correct. In a bot base, you just have delivery points um, for your bots to either move the ore to the smelters, or if it's been smelted somewhere else, to dump the smelted ore or the smelted plate, and then have like bot-based production areas that just request the product from lag is fixed yet? That is a good question. I didn't see anything specifically about that. Uh, Lizzie, have you tried like Firefox? So then do you put row port parts down the middle or do you put them on the outside? Do you have a similar share request your chests? Uh, Well, it depends how optimized you want to get. Like, so for like Blue Science, we have trains to deliver in the middle. We have ports in the middle. Typically, ports in the middle are going to be better than having them on the outside edges. And then we have the build. And yeah, so if it's a slower producing item, uh, well, actually, just pretty much regardless, you can share chests. So like this one is requesting everything it needs and two assemblers are sharing it. You just have to make sure that your uh, requests are high enough to support however many assemblers you're using to pull from it. 
Exterminator, go to a better outpost to show how the split ports. Yeah. Uh, quick question. Why do you prefer having locomotives on both sides of your train? Surely the hassle of having to plan one-way rails isn't so bad. Um, it is bad. <laughs> uh... I do not like loop-based one-way rail systems. I find them an absolute pain to build. They take more room, and I just don't like them. Uh, so yeah, let me get my helicopter, and I'll go show you a correct outpost. This one was one of the first that was fixed, um, but not done correctly. accelerate much better I mean really I mean with rocket fuel it doesn't make that big of a difference like again I don't need it my trains are already getting to where they need to go plenty fast so I would rather not have the hassle of building these loop based systems um, when I don't need to I'm not sure if you've noticed, I'm a very lazy player. <laughs> uh, in in some sometimes in a very weird, illogical way, uh, but well, that that was actually a correct way to do one. Um, I want to show you a better one though. I think is this a steel outpost? This may be a good one. Kind of. Well, actually, that steel one was up there. It was really good. Can I buy your whole base in a blueprint? Sure. 50 bucks. Good luck importing the blueprint. So this would be uh, a way that you would want to do a bot base thing, although this one's pretty much mined out at this point, surprisingly, which is actually very surprising considering the amount of productivity we have. And wholly charging. Yikes. Uh, so... This is, because what this does is this is separate networks for this station and this station, um, and they like overlap in the perfect places, or not overlap, but like reach the edge in the perfect places, and then uh, it's not using the whole patch, but, but that's fine. Typically, if we have a high enough mining productivity, I'm actually very surprised this many have mined out. I didn't realize that this many were empty. Um, so we would actually want to extend this probably outside here to get more ore. Um, this is a huge bot charging problem, though. Uh, the save for this is not public on Patreon, though, JD. Not until I'm done with it. Wow, I can't believe we've actually gone through that much. I mean, I guess, to be fair, in the last 50 hours we've used 125 million steel, so... I guess that's kind of understandable. 41k a minute. Steel. You know, we're doing 46k steel a minute. At the moment. Uh, okay, so... I'm trying to find a better... Like, this would be a good example down here. Helicopter, man. It's too good. Okay, so this one's less mined out and wonky, but this is a good example. Uh, I think I did put the save out on Reddit, though. Yeah. Uh, so... This is kind of why in my uh, tightening the belt base, though, I want to do mining directly into trains, because while this is good and all, uh, it has problems. Like in the steel one you saw, there were all those bot charging problems. Um, but even if there's not, you're still using, you know, X amount of bots to do this, and bots do take UPS. So having, you know, however many outposts, we have a lot of outposts. We have like 30 outposts all with these bots doing stuff. So um, if you were to eliminate that and mine directly into trains, 
you get rid of not only the bots, you also get rid of the inserters on the outpost side, because you also notice here, and we've even reduced, we've even gone down to four inserters per wagon, we could go lower, but even here, you know, there's this amount of inserters for every single outpost, and inserters are one of the higher things for taking game performance, so if you can eliminate that and the bots on the outpost side, then uh, you're saving a lot of UPS by just mining directly into the train wagons. So that's why I want to do that with the belt base. And wow, there is a lot of stuff. A lot of miners, man. This train looks so boring. This obviously does not have the 016 updated terrain. That's how basically you have to admit you were getting good FPS at middle 50s. Yeah, I, it was getting 60 for a while. I think the bot charging problems are hurting things. How's pollution? <laughs> oh, jeez. Alright, you guys ready for this? <laughs> there's, there's the pollution. <laughs> Solid red way past the explored area on this side. That pollution. Yikes. All right. I would look at the um, actual numbers, but I'm afraid my game will lag out if I actually use a debug option. Hey, John Ball, another gifted sub to JD. Thank you so much. It's really nice of you. That was one red map. You can say that again. Thank goodness there's any biters, yeah. That's why we put them on peaceful and killed all of them in the range, because you just wouldn't be able to keep up with the defense for this. The pollution spreads way too fast. I, I was trying to at one point, and it was just, like, impossible. Like, I literally just couldn't put down defenses fast enough. Uh-oh. Took something out of here. Steel axes. Did I was I like hand feeding this or something dumb? Probably. I'll be back. Uh, Shimmy, thank you for the follow. Logan, six four, thank you for the follow and. AWMS, thank you for the follows. The artillery stuff help, I'll perhaps? Be back. No, the artillery just wouldn't help. The only the only way possible would be nuclear artillery, and that would just lag out the game with the amount it would be firing. I'll be back. Um, power grid. The power grid's not very pretty. Actually, it is kind of pretty. Since most of these builds are uniform. Well, out here it is. <laughs> Down here it's not. <laughs> hey, Will. Oh, yeah, Will. You. Oh, this is pretty. Check out this, man. Whew. Uh, Alright, Will. Here's, uh, here's something you'll like. There you go. You've been in orbit lately. I've not gone to space. I went to space last time I was on the map. You seem to be launching rockets slower than normal. It's a wee bit concerning. Or maybe I'm just paranoid. I think I'm just paranoid. Maybe. Yeah, I'm just paranoid.
Okay, so we have these. We have plenty of normal capsules back at the rocket area. 20, I think, should be enough. Hopefully. Hmm. This boss speed, it's like not even moving. I mean, to be fair, it's however many, this is 8 million packs, so it's going to take a while. It's going to take a good while. Tons of nukes. That's a retired supply train. I love this lab setup with the trains. Doing good there. I think the packs are consistently keeping up now. We haven't had any major issues in long enough to where things are uh, going quite well in that regard. That's why our 50 hour pack production is almost at the 4k minute mark. Oil is something we haven't checked. I really love this oil build too. Hmm. Looks like we have an uneven draw here. That's not good. Actually, if anything, oil is going to be our bottleneck, I think. Hmm. Is this, uh... Why? I mean, they're all running. As long as they're all running, I guess it's okay. This one's about to run dry, though. We better get a train in here, man. Alright, well, here one comes. Okay, and then... Side's okay. We're making... 600k. I think we needed, like, 500 and something k per minute. Petroleum. So, technically, we are making enough. Gotta go get ready to leave. Alright, see you later, Flixian. I'll catch you tomorrow. Uh, what be back. version am I running? Uh, 16 something. It's an older version. As a Factorio beginner, should I do a bot or belt base launching more than one rocket? Either one would work, really. I mean, you can easily launch multiple rockets on a belt base. I mean, even, even my tightening the belt base has launched like five rockets. If you want to go like hundreds of rockets, you still could. Belt base would be more complicated. Uh, the Justin Tree. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> I like how I had these like random labs here. I think actually I think that was for military research maybe. Yeah, because I needed to get the uh, some military stuff, the artillery. I assume I got artillery. I didn't even get it. <laughs> I guess not. All right. So I need to re I need to somehow get the list updated for the patrons. I'm really not sure the best way to do it. It's uh it's a it's a huge headache. This poor little stone patch is still cranking along, man. He's still supplying some stuff. I think he comes here. Can can do it? I don't want to make Can do it. <laughs> Unless he's, like, actually really willing, because it is going to be a huge headache. Even if Can did it, it would be more of a headache for me than it would be for him. Figuring out the, all the names and stuff. Uh, what are the train standards these days? Uh, 383s are decent. Uh, with nuclear fuel, though, I think you could even go... I think you could maybe get away with, like, 
two six two two eight two maybe maybe uh, we could go into space let's let's, uh, let's go visit the people in space try not to mess up our rocket process. Uh-oh. This train is still scaring me. <laughs> oh, man, uh, we're quite close on our Wednesday stream. We may hit uh, another sub goal mark to uh, unlock another sub amount, which would be awesome. Uh, that's not really the issue, though, JD. It's actually sort... It's like figuring out new names from old names, who's been lot like, and all this stuff. And, like, some people's names have changed. It's not the actual en export and import part that's the issue. Oh, hey, there was already a helicopter here. Already launched. Oh, this guy. Oi! Let me in, man! How do I even get in this thing? I don't even remember the hotkey. Oh, there we go. This is really loud. Rip ears. Woohoo! I guess I got rid of my zoom mod. Damn. Actually, I think it stopped. I think it stopped working or something. So here's all the Twitch followers we've launched, all the patrons up in the middle there. Leaving Tadpole, catch you later. His name just like runs into these other people's names. Flying Squirrel. Got some guy kind of off off to the side here. At one point, I was able to find Zuri in Mojo, but I think they're very much lost in here. Rockets are very loud. That is true. Nazareth, I recognize that name. Hey, this Kip. Here you are. Yeah, this part. This is like my favorite part of the mod. Can did an awesome job with this. Allowing me to come up here and visit every all the uh, Twitch followers and patrons who've been launched. Damn it. So yes, there are almost 4,000 names up here. Yeah, this would be, uh, this isn't going to be possible to find a lot of people. Thirteen miles away, wow. We get launched with spacesuits. Well, I'm not sure you need them, like this may I mean this looks like he may have some sort of breather on actually. But no, you just get launched up there. Gotta fend for yourself. Find me, shoot me. <laughs> How rude. Yeah, man, I haven't seen any names I recognize. How many external launches a nuke in space? That is a good question. I prefer not to find out. Well, I'll die if I don't move. That would be one thing. I, I, I'm not sure what... What happened actually that would uh, potentially be bad.
Must be lurker space, yeah. And launch a car into space. I've launched a car into space before. Extreme seeking train, obviously. Hopefully it lets me save while I'm up here. I haven't actually tried this. Ready? Aim. There's actually, I can't shoot. There's actually nothing to shoot. It doesn't even let me shoot. No, oh, yeah, it does. It actually killed him. <laughs> it actually killed him. <laughs> Good thing I saved. I wondered if that would happen. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I killed like 50 people. <laughs> I'm glad I saved. I'll be back. That is hilarious. Against the Twitch TOS band. <laughs> hey, Muppet, thanks for the follow. Loot their bodies. <laughs> oh man, that was pretty great. Killing supporters of base. <laughs> Alright, we're back at spawn. My tombstone. That's very appropriate. Here lies Exterminator 2010 through 17. Zigged when he should have zagged. This actually needs to be an 8. Not in 2017 anymore, man. I actually don't. I don't know if I can make this an 8 very well. <laughs> oh no oh I thought I was out of trains that would have been really bad I would have been lost out here this bot speed like literally is just it's so slow the ghost of extern that's when it happened oh yeah that's true Smelters, this train line, man. Oh, fuck. <laughs> that was close. I saw the train, I was just like, I I'm going for it, man. I just gotta go for it. This is like my favorite area in the whole map, is this area in here. This took so long to design. Oh my gosh, this took like 20 hours or more to get right. It was so annoying. I think actually like this track between the plastic and reds is one of my favorite spots. Just these tracks, like they're kind of wonky, but they're perfectly mirrored, which is really nice. Almost 100k plastic a minute. How are we doing here? Still decent. Hey, General on. What's going on? It's also the most dangerous place for Extern to be. Yeah, that too. So many napkin drawings of this area in Discord. <laughs> oh, that was great, man. <laughs> like, literally, it was just, like, drawings on the back of, like, some, like, random piece of paper like an invoice or something of this area. And then like Hopewell's drawings were hilarious. You couldn't <laughs> couldn't even tell what they were. He was just like throwing stuff together. Tons of napkin drawings. That was awesome. Figuring this area out. Like th this just took, it took probably 20 hours to build, but it probably took another 10 hours of debating, talking back and forth on how to actually build it. And like everything required in the space. We came so close on this space with the track because I placed this track this main line before I'll I ever be built this and I mean we're within like 15 tiles 20 tiles maybe of this being too close <laughs> it was really really close I mean you can see how how packed in these things are to make it fit and I was on and I was high on painkillers at the time great times <laughs> yeah I remember that not for all of it but for quite a bit of it, yeah, that was pretty funny. 
Not much I'm here, and I insta follow because of this video, Factorial Corner World's original Mega Base visit. Deadly trains and whoopsies. Oh, that was hilarious. That one <laughs> with, with the artillery train, we just wrecked everything. Thank you for the follow. That was a great video. I use fact, I use graph paper factorial sketches. I don't think I had any, so I just took like the back of like an invoice or something and just sketch it out. I love that video. Yeah, that was really fun to record. There's going to be another uh, base tour video, not of Will's base, but another base. Um, that's going to be pretty amazing here in the next couple weeks. It's uh, probably one of the most spaghetti uh, unique bases, I think, that's uh, ever been built. It's, uh, it's going to be really cool. I thought, the, okay. <laughs> I saw these disconnected. I was like, what's going on? I don't even know why this is here. In fact sure what a lot of I think I was just like finishing to get stuff uh like panicking to get stuff done and I was just throwing stuff everywhere not ah, shit what about the video of all the exterm deaths that is an insane and awesome video yeah that that one's pretty good tab crash again that's really weird Lucy I like how you end up splitting the Artie train and then getting front part destroyed by Artie's back end. <laughs> yeah, and killing me. That was that was my favorite part. That was pretty hilarious. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Oh, fucking Jesus! Reading chat and walking, not a good idea. I was just like starting to read and I'm like, well, I should probably start walking somewhere. Um, I'm doing pretty good. Uh, hit our, dona our original donation goal, which was awesome. Uh, having a lot of fun, got some work done on the tightening the belt. Um, things, are, things are going pretty good. About to go full time this week, I'm super excited. Only three more days of work. Being new trains in general, not a good idea. Some of this was so hacked together like this. I was like, screw it. I don't want to move stuff again. I'll just build these like really wonky <laughs> curve tracks. Back to our base isn't too big yet. It'll get there. Stupid trees. We don't need you on this planet. Like, really, the pollution should have just killed all of this. I mean, these trees look kind of dead, but with this level of pollution, like, come on. These trees should just have evaporated at this point, you would imagine. In fact, I'm, I'm interested. Do you ever see that shed? Uh, I don't think so. Nuclear at night and the 50-50 solar nuclear at the day. Nice! How much power are you using? Uh, prepare for craziness. Um, all right, you ready for this? Uh, let's see, 93k, somewhere in here there's, oh, here we go. 105k per chunk, oh, here's 110. I wonder where the highest is. Oh, probably like in the middle here. 116, 117, 19, 120, 21. I'd say this area here, what is this? This is a red build. 121,000 pollution in a chunk. Probably 
problem is when you zoom out too far, you can't see it. I would have thought this... Well, the smelters are electric, so I guess they wouldn't be too much. I wonder what the oil base is. Oh, dear lord. Here it is. My old base is not as actually as high as I thought. Right now, not too much. My iron outpost emptied out maybe 30 minutes ago. Uh-oh. A zero. Uh. Oh. Holy balls. I am missing a zero. That was over a million. Damn. That was a million, dude. Sorry. Yeah, over a that was 1.2 million. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is nuts. About 80 megawatts. That's not too bad. So you would think with over a million pollution per chunk, those things would be dying pretty quick, but... Okay, let's see. Last hour, how was our pack production? Over 4k. Nice. This is going to take a while. The 10 hour was good. I'm uh, pretty happy with how things are going. And uh, with that, guys, I think I'm going to call an end here. Uh, I need to uh, do a couple things and get some dinner. Uh, there's some stuff I want to watch. Like the player character can't choke. Well, I'm really surprised you can even see, man. Like, at this point, you shouldn't even be able to see. 64 steam engines with a combined capacity of about 200 megawatts. Nice. Four reactors. Dinner! Yeah, man, I'm starving. I'm gonna get... I have Indian food. Can't wait to eat. <laughs> uh, I will be streaming again Wednesday, uh, which will be a pretty big uh, kind of celebration. Wednesday is my last day at work. Uh, yeah, Catman, definitely check out Firefly. Give it a try, at least. Um, but then, so then, after I go full-time, uh, I will be streaming much more often. I will be streaming probably three or four times a week. I'm hoping for four. Uh, so I'll lay out a schedule and stuff once I get it figured out. But uh, that, so next, this coming Wednesday is the next stream. Uh, the Friday Facts discussion video went up earlier, if you haven't seen that on YouTube. And uh, a... The Frontier Troopers will go up tonight, and then this VOD will go up probably tomorrow. I made a shed that can hold 120-393 trains. Jeez. Alright, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you so much for everything. Uh, the amazing donations to get to our original donation goal. Um, T-Bone, a lot of it. Thank you so much, and uh, thank you for all the subs. Gifted subs from I'll John Bull. Um, and the follows, Spymic, Roman, thank you for the follow just now, and, uh, also, Aluton, thank you for the donation, and Barber for the bits, thank you so much, guys, you're awesome, amazing stream, much appreciated. I'm gonna host, uh, Mojo and Shred Guy are streaming, I think Shred Guy usually gets off about now, um, Clown Town's on. I think I'm going to host Mojo. He's working on his 3200 uh, Science a Minute base, a belt base. So I'm going to host him. Uh, go check him out. I'll send a raid over and take care, guys. Have an awesome rest of the afternoon. I'll catch you later.